The event we have today is what we have titled Not Your Average Joe. It is a 56 mic, that's our religious affairs specialist MOS, readiness event. It is a way to get after training and testing the readiness of our current force. These lanes are going to consist of PCIs, PCCs with their weapons first, taking part and putting back together function check of the M4 and the M249. After that, they're going to go to a land nav station where they're actually going to have to plot the points of where they are and how to get to the next place. So the land nav is going to be tested. After that, they're going to go forward. They're going to have to receive a mission, uh, give a mission brief, and they're going to be tested on all their medical lanes also, all the way from treating a hemorrhage, a broken bone, uh, sucking chest wound, a casualty, and of course recovery operations. Every religious affairs specialist, we should be a soldier first. That's the mentality we're going after. Um, that's what our CG wants to get after, and that's our CG's priority. The end state is we assess our 56 mics, engage where their readiness is at, take that information, do our leader development plan for FY20 going forward, and it gives us the information we need in order to build these soldiers up in these warrior task and battle drills so they can execute these warrior task and battle drills sometime in the near future. The Not Your Average Joe Readiness event has been a great opportunity for us as leaders to be able to assess where our soldiers are, but as our soldiers really be able to assess where they are. Uh, we're finding that the soldiers are able to deep, dig deep down and find that element of grit inside to push themselves beyond what they thought they would be able to do to, to tackle each one of these tasks. And I'm proud of every one of our soldiers being able to come out here and uh, push themselves to uh, greater things than they thought they'd be able to do before. And it really comes down to that element of grit that we find in every American soldier.